Welcome to God's Touch Ministries International, where God is raising a people of integrity, influence, and affluence. Come for an encounter with the power of God, deliverance from every oppression of the devil, and the glorious presence of God. Our services as follows. Sunday services, prayer force, 6.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Main service, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sunday school, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And midweek Holy Communion service from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. God's Touch Ministries, the powerhouse. tonight the theme is the fight of God. The fight of God. God do fight. Amen? And as a believer, acknowledge and appreciate what God himself acknowledges. God do acknowledge that there are gods. So for me as a believer to say that there are no gods, we only have one God, I'll be wrong. Gods are there. Powers are there. Forces are there. And that's why this night, or this Kesha, in Mianza Naneno, when you are still fresh, praise the Lord. You see, you can go Messiah Sanani, I'm a Sartis and Kibobiria. Praise the Lord. You want to look at the other man at the Fauci. Praise the Lord. Amen. And now I pray for all of us that desire one thing, God, may, may I understand what is being taught. Because when you understand this, your life and my life, I believe after tonight, shall be better and will be better to the glory of God. The fights of God. To understand the battle of spiritual warfare, we need to begin with acknowledging that we are in a war. For us to understand spiritual warfare, we must acknowledge that we are in a war. We are in a war. We are in a war as Christians, as believers, as human beings. For us to fully understand the spiritual warfare, we need to begin with acknowledging that we are in a war. Life is not a fanfare. Life is a warfare. We are not in a party. Life is not a party. And many times as believers, we do forget ourselves that we are in a warfare. If we are going to make it in any given area of life, you must be ready to fight. Oppositions are there. These are not the days that one will say, I'll get married when I want. I'll start a business when I want. I'll sell if I want. I'll drive if I want. I'll preach if I want. Praise Jesus. Life is a warfare. To become a pastor, one man of God told me this. Pastor Boris, he told me this. Man of God, the day you'll be preaching, and five people will be seated down, listening to you, whom you have never given birth to, appreciate God. And that time, I was privileged to be working under another ministry, and under a man of God, back in Mombasa, Katarina Balakawaida. But today, ask me, I will tell you, to gather five people, it has taken prayers and waging warfare. For those who are in business, you will agree with me. To say to one person, it is God. And you need to wage a warfare. Life is a warfare. And this war is in faces. This war is in levels. And Christian, we must understand why the the non-believers, the only people are fighting the believers because we don't understand that this war is in faces. This war is in levels. The people who brought the gospel to Africa, I thank God for their lives, but they never gave us the full gospel. They gave us half or quarter big gospel. That all that I need as 
is a believer is to be born again and be filled with the Holy Ghost and I'll make it to heaven. Umeokoka, you will never be sick again. You are born again, you will make it to heaven. You are born again, you will never, you will never suffer again. But that's, that's not the truth. That's so far from the truth. There's a war to fight. Praise the Lord. Battles in life involve combat between two persons, between two factions, between armies, and they consist of any type of extended context, struggle or controversy. Battles involve combat between two persons, between two factions, between armies, and they consist of any type of extended contest, struggle, or controversy. As Christians, we must acknowledge and admit we are in a spiritual battle of some sort on a daily basis. On a daily basis. Psalm 56. Kila siku to kwa Every day is a war to fight. Psalms 56 from us. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man will swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresses me. He daily fighting me. Every day is a war to fight. Every day is somebody against you. Every day is somebody instigating against you by powers and forces of darkness. Psalms 115, 15 to 16. I want to get your attention when you're still fresh. Amen. Amen. Psalms 115, from verse 15 to 16. <laughs> Ye are blessed of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. You are blessed. You are blessed by God, the one who made the heaven and the earth. So a believer is not cursed. A believer is blessed by God who made the heavens and the earth. So looking at you and you looking at me, none of us is cursed. But the life that we are living, we don't look like we are blessed. We might be confessing that we are blessed, but we don't look it. We don't manifest the blessings of God. And the question is why? God has got good plans for us. God intends to prosper every believer. But why are we not there? But he still reads. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. But the earth have he given to the children of men. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. But the earth have he given to the children of men. Give me TPT. I will condemn many scriptures to put up with one The heavens belong to our God. We are about heavens, the heaven of the heavens. The heavens belong to our God. They are His alone, but He has given us the earth and put us in charge. He has put us in charge. So you're in charge, whatever God has committed to you. Whatever God has entrusted to you, you're in charge. You are the one to be questioned. But why are these not going the way you want them to go? Kwaifu kuna vita. Na hii vita, iko in faces. Na hii lakati mezoea, ni hii hapa karibu tu. Wachawi, waganga, I've been asking myself, God of might, I've dealt with these witches. For the longest time I've known myself in this land of God. And for sure, some of them are normal. But still, my life is not where it ought to go. It's not where it ought to be. Then, where is the problem? I'm seeing some progress. I'm seeing some improvement in my life. And I'll say, Bishop Medepo will say, if I go with this pace, try to share part of day here for the VR. Meanwhile, that can only human. Before I get what I want, before I build and the promises of God are fulfilled in my life, 
it will be too late. If I go with this place, I'm praying. I don't hate prayers. I thank God for the grace of prayers and supplication. I thank God for fasting. I thank God for that. I thank God for coming to church. For me to have reached the point of wanting to share what I'm sharing tonight. The fight of God. There's something deep in my heart. There's something I was thinking, meditating, and questioning myself. What is the problem with the church? What is the problem with the believer? What is the problem with our families? God, I want to know. And God told me what? The heavens, all the heavens, belongs to me. But the earth have I given to the children of men. Only when will they happen? But as for you, you are on earth to reign. If you wanted to pull a pole, please. You want to pull a pole, please. You want to pull a pole, Angel, give me my diagram. Number one, we have our immediate atmosphere, the first heaven. When the word heaven is used in scripture, it usually refers to three realms. We have got three realms. We have got three realms. The first heaven, the year by two. Amen. The first heaven is the atmosphere. And that is the heaven which you belong in. And I belong. This is where God created man and put man to be in dominion and to be in charge. Praise the Lord. Here, okay, here upon the The first heaven. The first heaven, the atmosphere. Here to the young lady. Amen. And if you go to the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. Genesis. I've never been through with this scripture. Genesis 1 26. So loaded. So heavy. And God said, Let us make man in our image. After our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Please don't contradict the Bible and don't get confused. If you look at this picture, see this one, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Meanwhile, man has got the power and the ability to take the fish. That's why today, by the grace of God, we have got aquariums in our houses. We can tame them. We can tame the lion. We can tame the snakes. We have got the power and the ability. Meanwhile, God has given dominion to man. Over the fish of the sea, over the creeping thing, and that's what I put over the stake of our agenda when I to be a physical of us. Quilla Mawong Zico. And they're okay, and they are totally right. Why? Because we have been given dominion over the first heaven. This is where we reign, this is where we rule. Praise Jesus. And that's why the devil of God cannot operate on this realm. He must use a human being or a creature. That's why God, one time, he used a donkey to speak to a man. To give a message. Why? Because it is the physical realm. And God cannot contradict himself. The heavens of the heavens belong to our God. But the earth has he given to man. Today, there are some people who fully understand who they are in this realm. And they rule, they reign in the name of witches, in the name of sorcerers, in the name of magicians. They have just taken their time to understand the realm they belong into. And it's high time the church gets to understand where we belong and what we are fighting and what we ought to.
to fight. Praise Jesus. That is their first realm. Take me back to my diagram, please. Number two, we have got the outer space, the sun, moon, and the stars. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 19, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 19, and lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun, and the moon, and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, should let be given to worship them. Utakapona jua. Usiongozwe. Don't be confused. You end up worshiping the sun, the moon, and the stars. Praise Jesus. I was telling you earlier today that the skies that we see over us, the sun, the moon, and the stars, the galaxy, all this is an inflection of what is on the earth. It's a mirror. That's why I've got astrologists. When Jesus Christ was born, Biblia to the story of the Bible. I'm a student of the Bible, and I love the Bible. When Jesus Christ was to be born, the magicians, the wise men, what did they follow? They followed a star. And they said what? A king will be born where? In where? In Bethlehem. They followed the star. Meaning what? The skies that we see over us, the sun, the moon, and the stars, this are a mirror. This is a mirror. And it reflects what is happening and what takes place here on earth. And Psalms 91 tells me what? The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. So meaning what? The moon is in its own class. And it has got the power to strike you. The moon has got the power to strike you. And that's why Some of you have come to me with a pastor in your bed, you And the moment you tell me that I get to know who the man you are. Praise Jesus. And lest thou lift up thy eyes unto heaven. Look again, unto heaven, not to the sky. Lest you lift up your eyes unto the heaven. And when thou seest the sun, meanwhile, in this given realm, or in this realm, of the heaven, there are, there are stars. Na kuna jua, na kuna mwezi. When you see the, the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, all the hosts in it, should be given to worship them and serve them with the Lord that God has divided unto all the nations under the whole heaven. And the gawiya, kila inji. So that they can get light, they can get, talk about darkness and light to separate their light. You are killer energy, but we were never meant to worship. The Buddhists, the Hindus, the Muslims, they understand this realm more than the Christians. And so take me back to my dad, please. We have got their first heaven. Then you have got the second heaven, the starry space, the galaxy. And this second heaven, happen depot, vita 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 Because this is the realm that is in between us and between our God. And this is the realm where Satan dwells. This is the realm where the fallen angels do live. This is the realm for those who come from Catholic. I'm a woman of a background of Catholic. We know it's called Pagatoli. Olegani. One who are Kufa, now Kufa, then Jesus Christ. 
They are not yet judged. Please understand me. They are not yet judged. And they are not yet in the lake of fire. And the lake of fire will be after judgment. So right now, they are still free to move around and hover over the first heaven which we live in. So they are put us as in and out. When I get a talk. Na hii ndio mbingu pia shetani na malaika waliwanguka wanaishi pia. Na hii ndio mbingu ambaye iko katikati yetu na Mungu. Na hii ndio mbingu maombi yako na maombi yangu lazima yapite. Na hii ndio mbingu ambayo Mungu akijibu maombi yako ni lazima yapitie kwa mbingu ya pili ili yakufikie. Na that's why unakuta kwamba pastor sasimama hapa hivi. Naona watoto wameachiliwa. Naona magari yanachiliwa. Naona bibi iliyofunguka, Mungu ameachilia. Baka unakuta kwamba kile ambacho kimeachiliwa na ukasema ime, na ukaelekea sadaka juu yake hakija kufikia. Ni kwa ajili ya kupanda vita kwa juu yetu. Ifuata pole pole tu. I'm trying to make us understand so that we can understand why the fights of God. Why do God fight? Why do God need to fight? Concerning my life, concerning your life. Then they do understand. Utachua mungu wangu ni nani? Elijah nyelewa hivi. Kama mungu wa Israeli ndiye mungu basi na abudiwe. Kama mungu wa baani ndiye mungu na abudiwe. Na tutajua aje yupi ndiyo mungu. Wacha Mungu mwenyewe akipiganie. Let us build two altars and put a sacrifice on top of it. And let us call upon our God and the God that answered by fire, he shall be God to be worshiped. Mimi wa kila familia iko na Mungu wake. Kila kabila iko na Mungu wake. Tukiangalia Kenya kuna kabila ambayo inaamini kwamba miungu yao iko juu ya miungu mingine. Kila kabila iko na miungu. Kila kabila iko na miungu yake. Kila familia iko na miungu yake. Amen. Kila nyumba iko na miungu yake. Praise the Lord. Minwa kuna miungu. And the gods that you are under or you are subjected under they dictate the things that you dream. They dictate the things that you handle in life. The gods over your life. Kuna watu ambao wametoka familia ambazo kuna miungu ya ufukara. Kuinuka ni shida. Kushikanisha elfu moja ni shida. Kwa jina ni miungu ambayo kwa chini yake second heaven. Then you got the third heaven. The third heaven. I'm very fast. Maombi yako ile akapata kujibiwa. Mkristo na mtimu liku. Whether you like it or not. Sija tuwa halidasi. Praise the Lord. Na kufuza bibiria. Maumbia na kakote kujibiwa. Ni mbaka ya toke. The first heaven. Through. The second heaven. To the third heaven. The third heaven. Is the throne room. Of God. The holy of holies. The presence of God. Hapa nipo ambao niko na kuna worship imepigwa unajisahau ujelewi tena you are totally gone you are totally lost that the physical realm no longer comes anymore you don't remember where is, where is your wife where is your child who is seeing you and who is not seeing you when you are still conscious of who you are and how you are dressed and your makeup you are still in the first realm the first heaven bado kwa hapo bado haujafika mahali ambapo ukapenya bingu ya pili ili maombi yako yakapate kufika mbele za Mungu bingu ya tatu kuna wakati nikiwa Mombasa and I decided to go back to those days again i will go to prayers and i'll hear voices completely that's the same voices kwa hela to the point that i was I was sad. I was afraid of myself. I thought I was going mad. 
Naingia kwa muombi inapotea. Naanza kusikia vitu kwa hewa. Na hapo ndio na macho this nothing I was seeing. But I could hear things. Mara makelele, mara masauti, mara mashilingi, mara duru. Na sio kwa hii ardhi but another rain. Na kiasi kinaanza kuokoka. And I know most of us we have reached that point. Many of us if truly you have been prayerful, you have been there. Hallelujah. This is the realm about Kipenya pia. Unaombea mtu na muona. Because you are totally beyond the first heaven and past the second heaven. You are now in the third heaven. When you reach the third heaven and you live there, things become a flow. A flow. A flow. What do they get to talk about? Sani nafika umeingia. Unapenda. Unakuta wiki moja umeingia. Breakthrough in your business. Breakthrough in all that you are doing. Things are happening. Why? Because umepenya jibu ya kwanza na ya pili ukosaya ya tatu. But now to how to remain in the third heavens, we don't know. Or we are ignorant. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The third heaven is the home of God and his angels. The cherubims, the seraphims, the 24 elders. This one is real. The holy of holies. Revelation chapter 4, 1 to 6. Revelation chapter 4, 1 to 6. Today we in a class. Then as I looked, I saw a door standing open in heaven. And the same voice I had heard before, which sounded like a mighty trumpet blast, spoke to me and said, Come up here. Come up here. This was John. And I will show you what must happen in the future. Come. Meanwhile, this is where revelations are given. This is where God gives visions. This is where God speaks to men. So from today, every time you say, God has told me, sir, sister, please check yourself. He spoke to you at which level? The ugly realm. And most of us, we do here. Elia met Naskia in the second heaven. Hapo ndo para kelele zote, fujo zote. Kumbuka wali okufa, wanaishi ya kupia. Second heaven. Unaskia mtana kwa kwa baba ni niambia, ata nichunga. I agree with you. He's right. Ata kuchunga. Because that is why they live. In the second heaven. But as a believer, you ought not to be receiving any instruction from the second heaven. As a believer. As a believer, you ought not to be making your prayers to the second heavens. We have got, we have got spirits which have taken the names and the forms of Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. And now today we pray to Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. And that's a goddess. Hallelujah. And instantly, I was, I was in spirit there. And instantly, will you come here? And instantly, I was in the spirit in heaven and saw all the glory of it. Avron and someone sitting on it. Nikolo to Kufu. Alinita, come here. Come here. And instantly, I was in the spirit. I was in heaven. And I saw, I saw what? A row and someone sitting on it. Was dream. Great bars of light flashed fall from in him as from a glittering diamond or from a shining ruby. And a rainbow glowing like an emerald and circled his door. Hapa ni wapito. 
Why are we here? I believe in heaven. There's that heaven. Then verse, verse 4 reads, 24 smaller thrones surrounded his, with 24 elders sitting on them, all who are clothed in white, with golden crowns upon their heads. Hallelujah. Verse 5, lightning and thunder issued from the throne, and there were voices in the thunder directly in front of his throne were seven lighted lamps representing the sevenfold spirit of God. This is heaven. And the one heaven, verse 6 reads, spread out before it was a shiny crystal sea, four living beings, dotted front, front and back with eyes, stood at the thrones for sight. This is the heavens of heavens, where your prayers and my prayers are answered. Praise the Lord. And this is where your answers are really so. When you pray, Maumbia kwa ya toki mali pengine. Na jawabu ya Maumbia kwa ya toki mali pengine. Ya natoka hapu hivi. The heavens of the heavens. Praise Jesus. Be one. I'm being fast. But kwele wane leo. Psalms 8, 3 to 9. This will give us a clear picture of these three realms. When I look up into the night skies and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have made, the kingdom of the world, the Jazan and Moezi, the Jew and the Nota, the Shaka, I am amazed by the works of your hands. What's for it? I cannot understand how you can bother with mere puny man to pay any attention to him. Verse 5. And yet you have made him only a little lower than the angels and placed a crown of glory and honor upon his head. Verse 6. You have put him in charge of everything you made. Everything is put under his authority. Praise Jesus. All sheep and oxen and wild animals too. Verse 8. The birds and fish and all the life in the sea. Verse 9. O Jehovah, our Lord, the majesty and glory of your name fills the earth. Nikitazama Jew, nikitazama nyota, na hata jua, na shandia kwa jida kuwako. And God, who is man that will pass through the sun, the moon, the galaxy, even to come and visit this man, who is this? That you are put lower than angels. Meaning what? We are lower. We are lower than angels. Who is this man? Angels are questioning what are mere mortals? That you should think about them. Human beings that you should care for them. What's why? Right? Yet you make them only a little lower than God and crown them with glory and honor. Ukiangalia kwa hivi LLT inaita malaika miungu. Angels, you have put them lower than God. Yet you care for them. Meanwhile, the second heavens is where God do dwell. Miungu inaishi kwa miungu ya pili. Na miungu minatawala dunia hii. Miungu. Every territory has got its own God. Every family, what are God's? God's are powers that are capable of exerting a powerful influence over human those. God's are capable of exerting powerful influence over human those and behavior in ways that are totally beyond human comprehension. Unakuta watu region fly na fikiria the same. They think the same. You go to another region, people learn books. Is it true? Every region, there's a way people do think. There's a lifestyle. Kuna pigino tenda, people are drunkards. And there are some places you go, ulevi ya kuna. Kenya ito tu? Your family is a way you think. There's a way you behave. 
Unakuta kwa kimasai kitabu unajua mguso wa familia fulani ni waizi. Familia fulani hawajui kuweka ngoma. Mimi wa kuna nyungu kwa kila familia. The fight of God. Where you come from will tell you the God that you need to fight. And the God that God need to fight on your behalf. But go and sit down and ask them what have you done? For you to be able to take over in this given street, they will tell you when I wamekesha wameomba wamefanya matambiko ingia kwa soko kuna mambo lazima utafanya ni lazima uingie kiroho na ukapata kupigana na miungu ya maisha yako kuna familia kuolewa ni shida ni juu ya nini ni juu ya miungu ya familia yenu listen to me tell the people of bank you are praying but you are praying your prayer in the first rank Look at your ancestors. The same thing they went through is what you're going through. The same pattern is the same thing. I've been asking myself, God, who is behind the patterns in families? And God told me, God. And this is not determined by the first heavens. It's dictated and determined and influenced by the second heaven. That's why man is manipulated. That's why Satan manipulates the decisions of people. That is even where the gender is manipulated. Unakuta yesi ya watoto, yabi yatendekea. Mtoto aliachiliwa, yu wa kiume. Ulimuona, na ukaomba, na ukona hile familia. That's where the red, where witches and wizards reign. Because of the speeds of the dead man, it's there. How did I marry? You don't kill gods. You don't kill spirits. You either divert them or subdue them and over potency. Now we give away. Babu and go and challenge. Now you call your son the name of your grandfather. Now tell me where you are. Una piga dimi. Ina fika second hand as well can go. This is where you belong. Last of all, I want to remind you that your strength must come from the Lord's mighty power within you. Verse 11. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand safe against all strategies and tricks of Satan. What are these tricks? What are these strategies? Then he goes ahead to say, For we are not fighting against people, please. Our warfare and our battle is not in this realm. It is not in the first realm. Inimity, beautiful. Flowers, beautiful. Animals, beautiful. What God created, he has given us dominion over them. For we are not fighting against people made of flesh and blood, but against persons. Where do they live? Without these persons, without bodies. How are we living? Meanwhile, even in this given service, they are listening to me. They are watching us. And that's why they make sure some people will not be here so that they cannot hear. <laughs> Meanwhile, let us postpone their video. Says what? Without bodies. So, meanwhile, anytime you can, you are in a meeting, two of you. Go say what? Where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am. So many what? Even when you are gathered and not in the name of the Lord, there are other people present around you. They are there. They are there. They are there. Then it says what? But against persons without bodies, for we are not fighting against people, understand today. Men of flesh and blood, but against persons without bodies, the evil rulers of the unseen world. The evil rulers of the unseen world, this one that you cannot see. Meanwhile, beyond the sun, the stars and the moon, we cannot see. Meanwhile, these are rulers from that realm. Are we together? Evil rulers of the unseen world, those mighty satanic beings, they are mighty. And great 
evil princes of darkness who rule this world. They rule this world. So the book of maybe your grandfather was a proper witch. And then you are saying, oh man, for us, we don't need to pray. We see. I don't. Now I understand, Pastor Joy. You don't need to pray because you are great, great grandparents. Their spirit is in the second realm. And these are the spirits that rule this world. They rule. I can see. This one and this one will happen. It's because this unseen world, wicked spirits, they rule the world that we live in. Hear me? Then it says what? And against huge numbers of wicked spirits in the spirit world. So, wicked spirits, huge number. When people die, and they never die in Jesus Christ, they don't go to heaven. They remain in the second heaven until the day of judgment. <coughs> what are your kufa? Now kufa and daddy is Christ. What are your kufa? How could they go? Because hell is not conducive. In my own understanding, hell is the lobby, the waiting room before people are judged. Why should I be in hell and I'm free? Why should I be there and I'm burning? Meaning what? I will look for somebody who's called after my name. <laughs> so meaning what? They are not judged. So they are free to move. That's why they come back and come and live in that child. And you as a parent will be saying what? And this boy is totally behaving like the grandfather. Because the grandfather found the person to be conducive. So they come and live. Some of them they live in a given territory. Some of them they live in a certain given time. Some of them commit. Hallelujah. These are gods. Gods live in the second realm. Or second heaven. And God says what? These gods, Satan and his forces, are jealous to fight God's forces for influence in the human lives and existence. Governments, nations, continents, and the entire world. So, this second realm, you can never be blue or blue or black. The second heaven. So anybody who will capture your heavens, they have dictated your life. Whosoever will manipulate your second heaven and use the second heaven against you, they have destroyed you. And these men are so much specialized. I'm a perfected again. Pray against us using the sun, the moon, and the stars. When they wake up in Saakisa, they are programming the land against the believers. Because they are jealous one day to influence against the believers. Exodus chapter 3, 7 to 9. We pray, we bind, we lose, we sing, we do everything that we know what to do. But we are not breaking forth. She didn't go happy. Then the Lord told him, that is Moses, I have seen the deep souls of my people in Egypt. I have seen it. Meanwhile, God can see through the second heavens. The second heaven, He can see through. Says, I have seen the deep sorrows of my people in Egypt and I've heard their plea for freedom from their harsh taskmasters. Verse 8. I have come to deliver them from the Egyptians 
and to take them out of Egypt into a good land. A large land, a land flowing with milk and honey. The land where the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites live. Verse 9. Yes, the will of the people of Israel has risen to me in heaven. And they have seen the heavy task. The Egyptians have oppressed them. I can see the oppression. When you pray, give me verse 8, please. I want to understand here that I have come to deliver them. Meanwhile, I'm coming to fight for them. God Himself, for 430 years, the children of Israel, they were in bondage, they were in captivity, they were slaves for 430 years. And God says, What? Well, I've had their cry. Ni mesiaki in your child. Look at your family. The same pattern, the same predicament, the same torment. Nobody makes it. Almost there, never there. Almost there, never there. Almost making it and never making it. Almost got married, but never married. For those who are married, they are managing it. They are not at peace. And they are not in peace. I have come to deliver them from the Egyptians and to take them out of Egypt into a good land. A large land, a land flowing with milk and honey. The land where the Canaanites. Canaanites are people. There is no land that God will give to you that is not already occupied. Every land that God will give to you is already occupied. And there are gods over that land. You want God to give your wife? They say, God over your wife. And they protect them. I'm just teaching the church. You are God will be my God. Your people will be my people. And where you will be buried, there I'll also be buried. <coughs> Meaning what? Number one is God. This is the first time. 
tegemeo la familia upate kupenya ya maisha ya Bwana. Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. I want and I believe God for radical believers. Eh hii kidogo si wachaka. Hii ndio ndio Wajua ndege pigi take off tajua. Amen. Hallelujah. First thing that says to be us. Kos kanisa limesoea. Utabarikiwa prophecies. Leo pastor ana mungu leo. Pastor leo ana holy ghost. My friend. I'm lost in him. I'm totally lost. Amen. Lost in him. Today I pray for you as I pray for myself. That we shall become a spiritual rocket. Amen. That cannot be stopped. Amen. That cannot be stopped. Amen. You shall not be stopped. You are pressed, you will not be stopped. Yeah. Whatever you decree shall come to pass. Yeah. Your business shall not be changed. Yeah. Your destiny shall not be changed. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name, you shall become an arrow. An arrow that must hit its own target. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Then I witness in heaven an, an event of great significance. I saw a woman clothed with a sun. Look at that. In heaven. I saw a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet. In the middle of I saw a woman. I'm a bad Jew. I'm a vision of Jew. And with the moon beneath her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. And let's go up. She was pregnant, and she cried out because of her labor pains. And the agony of giving birth, she cried. From the left. Then I witnessed in heaven another significant event. I saw a large red dragon with seven heads and ten horns with seven crowns on his heads. Nations. He stayed swept away one third of the stars in the sky. Who is that? Who is that? And he viewed them to the earth. He stood in front of the woman and she was about to give birth, ready to the fall. Her baby, as soon as it was born, Tari Kuwa, ready to heal. And he viewed them to the earth. He stood in front of the woman. Then, verse 5 She gave birth to a son who was to rule all nations with an iron rod. And the child was snatched away from the dragon and was caught up to God and to his throne. Hapa ni wapi tuko? Hapa ni wapi tuko? Is it the first heaven? The second heaven? Or the third heaven? Hapa ni wapi tuko? Second. Second. This is this where the war is. Unakuta kwamba ndiyo mungu amejimu mbi yako. Kupata mtuto wako ishida. Mungu amejimu mbi yako. Kuolewa ni kazi. Dragon was caught up to God and to his throne. Verse 6 reads, And the woman fled into the wilderness where God had prepared a place to care for her for 1,260 1, days. 1,260 days. Then there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. There was war. So when you look at this, this is a battle and a fight of God. Then there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels was eight ribs. And the dragon lost the battle. And he and he and his angels were forced out of heaven. Was nine ribs. This great dragon, the Ashi serpent, called the devil of Satan, the one deceiving the whole world, deceiving the whole world, was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. Was ten. Then I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens, It has come at last. Then I heard a loud voice shouting across the heavens, It has come at last. Salvation and power and the kingdom of our God. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters has been thrown down to the earth. The one who accuses them before our God day and night. And you know what you and he meant to be the accuser of brothers and sisters. 
verse 11 reads, and they have defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by their testimony, and they did not love their life so much that they were afraid to die. Verse 12 reads, therefore rejoice all heavens, and you who live in the heavens rejoice, but terror will do what? Will come on the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you in great anger, knowing that he has a little time. If you read the verse, says what? War to the inhabitants of the earth, because the devil knows he has got but a short time. The inhabitants of the earth, the inhabitants of the sea, storms, hurricanes, and everything in the sea. Why? Because the devil knows he has got but a short time. If we need and we are going to win our war concerning our careers, our businesses, our children, then we must engage the second heaven and win the battle. When we win the battle, then everything on earth will become easy. Praise the Lord. Yes, as if you will. The Christian real and primary battle is in the spiritual realm, the second heaven. How do we live? This first heaven through the second heaven to the third heaven and get our answers. That's the question. Look at Daniel chapter 1. Chapter 10, sorry. That's why I had to come to the altar before. Or to the before of God. Demons have got power. Demons have got personalities. Demons have got a purpose. Praise the Lord. They have got an agenda. Unakuta mali flani. Unengia biashara kido umenuka. Then before you know it, unangoka. Ngoma tukai unangia. Wanainuka vika mali flani. Wanafifia. What is this? Meaning what? The lines are already drawn. Limits are already there. In the third year, in the third year of the of the reign of King Cyrus of Persia, in the third year of the reign of King Cyrus of Persia, Sinikim of where? Of Persia. Daniel, also known as Belshazzar, had another vision. He understood that the vision concerned events certain started to happen in the future, times of war, and great hardship. When this king called King Cyrus was in Tunis, when this vision came to me, I died, had been in mourning for three whole weeks. For three whole weeks. Then, all that time I had eaten no rich food, no meat, or wine across my lips, and I used no fragrant lotions until those three weeks had passed. Go to verse 10 now, 10 to 13. Just then, a hand touched me and lifted me, still trembling to my hands and knees. Verse 11. And the man said to me, Daniel, you are very precious to God. You are very precious to God. So listen carefully to what I have to say to you. Stand up, for I have been sent to you. When he said this to me, I stood up still trembling. Verse 12. Then he said, he said, don't be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day you began to pray. Nicholas, since the first day you began to pray, what happened? For understanding to humble yourself before your God in prayer and fasting, your request has been heard in heaven, Evelyn. Your request was heard. God is not dead, not to hear. He's a hearing God. And his hands are not short not to save you. Then he says, your request has been heard in heaven. I have come in, have come in answer to your prayer. In the kucha. In the kapata kuletea chawabu ya mumbiyako. Verse 19. But for 21 days, the spirit, prince of the kingdom of Pashi, who was the king here? Verse 1, they said who? King Cyrus, the king of where? Persia. 
But for 21 days, the spirit, prince of the kingdom of Persia, broke my way. So this king that was called King Cyrus, his spirit was militating against them. And this king called King Cyrus, and in here for the world of your church, Chakwamba, he was militating against the prayers. There are some people, when they are over your life, and they have got authority over your life, even their pastors that you submit to be careful. If King Cyrus, the king of Persia, the spirit, prince of the kingdom of Persia, Block my way. Block my way. Cyrus, the king of Persia. Here the speed prince of the kingdom of Persia blocked my way. Then Michael, one of the archangels, came to help me. And I left him there with the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia. In the watch up with you, the Mishkiria. Meanwhile, Samson, When you saw that car, my friend, my sister, it was released. But now you are still praying and waiting warfare and it is released. We need to wage warfare. We know that we see a good way on a stack at all, but we need to back you. They can hang you up. Bad books. This is Daniel. And you don't know him. He was a man given to prayers. Christians, to Inuke, let us engage the next reign now. God, the next reign must be subdued. Amen. We must overcome. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The prince, there are some members who are in churches and they become princes. Over that given area, over that region. Unakuta to be there to become a hand in your See them, we say, oh, see why Jesus that they know that thing. Their spirit in the coma, in the Zerke, a pan of Hali. Unakuta, you cannot marry until they permit you. Who are they? They are not your uncles, they are not your aunties. In business in God, you cannot do a taxi business in God. There are people that you must meet. In Vika, the last time I heard about them, Kunamanu is Bujenga, you must see the elders of Apatia Mbuzi Bujenga. Verse 14. Now I'll be here to explain what will happen to your people in the future. For these future concerns are time yet to come. In Pelagam 20, 20 and 21, because of time. <coughs> 20 says, and he replied, Do you know why I have come? So they must return to fight again and again. This angel must go back again. Now pick the next man. So we know what this angel was to fight, he came fighting. He had to be helped. Do you know why I have come? Soon I must return to fight against the spirit, prince of the kingdom of Persia. And after that, the spirit prince of the kingdom of Greece will come. Okay. Now, the guy who you once our Persia. Then I fight again with Greece. Was 21. Meanwhile, I will tell you what is written in the book of truth. No one helps me against this spirit princess except Michael, your spirit prince. Hakuna, and I'm saying here. Hakuna. We may have a moment here, Pastor, we know by a word. Pastor, free my all. Tonight, we need the help of these angels. We need them. We need them. Sometimes you have done everything. He said, I said, what? I must fight. And no one helps me. Except to look at Daniel. Daniel and Neoba. For 21 good days. Have you ever fasted? For 21 good days. 40 days. No answer. Well, the answer was so minimal. Meanwhile, I tell you. Meanwhile, I will tell you what is written in the book of truth. No one helps me against these spirit princes except Michael, your spirit prince. He's the one only who helps me. God Almighty, the angels are sent over my life. Send them help. Send them help.
for quick delivery of my answers to the glory of God. Praise Jesus. Daniel prayed. Look at First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 18. Listen, church. There are some things that you want so much. And me too, I want so much. We wanted very much to come to you. And I tried again and again. But who what? But Satan prevented us. Sometimes some people want to bless you. But when they want to click your number, they forget your number. You know, even you, you know yourself. You want to call somebody, then you tell who they want to call. That's how we touch. Then later on, I was to call Pastor Muticia. But at that given moment, the second heavens interfered. When your promotion is almost coming, when the boss is almost signing your paper, and I pick you a single agent meeting, almost signing, then the whole family will be left there. Process one. Almost the last process is a new agenda. Before you know it, we cannot see your fire. You have to be called for a job and you know for sure this was. The man that was to call you and knew you could have just get either my foot or cast, armor, and you transfer. You wanted very much to count. We wanted so much. That's Apostle Paul, a man of God. Apostle. We so much wanted to come. There are people who want to come to GTM. And if GTM will not understand this and engage in warfare and engage cause to fight our warfare, this church will remember it is. We wanted very much to come to you. And I, Paul, tried again and again, but Satan prevented us. There are some things that are meant for you, but Satan prevents. Satan prevents. There are some things and there are some people who mean good for you. And they are planning good for you. And this is where the church is. My friend, but these things to reach you, Satan defended us. So they are the same war that was in heaven, God and I said, fight my warfare. For the Bible says what? For with men it is impossible. Kuna vita ambazio, hautaweza. No matter what you do as a human being, mekubali, kuna vita ambazio, hauwezi. They are totally above you. For with men it is impossible to fight this warfare. But with God, all things are possible. But with God, all things are possible. Imagine fighting a creature, a being with no physical body. How will you fight that person? We need God. And we need to engage the spirits in the dark heavens. And the last example. How do we engage in warfare in the second heavens? Zechariah chapter 1, 18 to 21. These are gods. Listen to me. The second heaven speaks. The second heaven speaks. On the exchange of destinies. Stars. Moon. Twenty. Na Mimi mustana wako baba. Mimi bindi yako siko na upara. Yo hivyo na upara. Liku kosea ni. They program, this is where the programming happens. The second heavens. is where the programming of destinies take place. Hey, hey, please. Ni fote vizu isa. Hata, hata wachulaji, hata sisi. Niko mo tuta oba. Kos tu nakuta, you might labor so much. Nakuta misha programi ya panjuni. And bitterness. Then in bitterness and connects your daughter to your own personality. Out of bitterness. Spirit out of personalities. Zinginez kona machungu. Zina machungu. Kuyuluka nishida. Then he lifted an eye up my eyes. And so 
and behold four horns. Then, four gods. And I said unto the angel that will talk with me, Nini, Nini, what be this? And he answered me, These are the powers, these are the horns, these are the gods which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Most especially you are born again. This second heaven set you. Second heaven set you. Second heaven is not for you, it was not for Daniel. It was not for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It was never for the believers. It has always been against the believer. That's what I'm talking about. Mutu Amai ya Okoka ni Muka Oresaga. Fungu Aba Leo. In a jackation. One man did that. And I'm saying that. No evangelism. No nothing. Second heavens. But the man. These are the homes which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Verse 20. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then saying, I, what can this to do? And he speaks saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah so that no man, no pastor, kama kuna mali wa pastor na bitia moto, ni ingombia. Then saying, what, what can this to do? These are the horns which have made sure. Listen, these horns, or these powers, these gods, are responsible for diseases in families. Responsible for the character, the behavior of some people. Kuna uta familia flani, kupita na rasta flani ni shida. Nangina uta, familia zima ni graduates, hakuna kazi. Wengine class say, kupita ni duru. Kifika class say, ni maternity. Nikule wa ni wongo. Na ingine for four, maternity say, takuna kwa lenji. They are gods that are the cause of it. These gods will call you back. You will go, they will call you back. Kuja, nana habi. You want to put a kuna kitu na kuambia toka go. Toka chua wewe. Kuna tumiungu tuwa kwenu. They are wondering what you are doing in the city. They are questioning. What are you doing? They are questioning. Some of these demons, some of these gods, they get you in class. They question you what are you doing in class. No one is here. This is killer. This is killer. Masomo. Sio, sio wewe. Sio wewe. This is killer. Masomo. Ini. Ini person ni kwa tio ini. Ingeza kwa shaka baadhi. Sio wewe. Ni tumiu mtu na kuita. Now let's move on to the other side of the world. I'm telling you the truth. You know, you think I'm joking. These are gods. Nobody cares about your stories. This life is warfare. This life is not a warfare. These are the ones that did make sure nobody did lift up his head. Nobody graduated. Nobody kept married. Nobody made it in business. Nobody got promoted. These are the homes. These are the powers that made sure nobody. But today we are making it. Amen. Today we are making it. Zechariah chapter three. Another spiritual battle. On that we can talk about it. Can you? To me, I'm back to my funga. Ni 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 tuwe bagisha ni ni ni. And he showed me Joshua the high priest. Standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand. Some of us are here, we are praying, and Satan just standing here. Unend the At his right hand, to assist him. Verse 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee. May God rebuke every devil. Oh, Satan, even the Lord that had chosen Jerusalem, rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Verse 3. Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused the iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with chain of raiment. Somebody say amen. Verse yeah. 5. And I say, Let them set a fair meter upon his head. So they set a fair meter upon his head and clothed him with garments. The Lord Almighty declares, If you will 
follow the path I set for you and do all I tell you to, then I will put you in charge of my temple to keep it holy and I will let you walk in and out of my presence with these angels. There was a war. Twenty kwanza kwazaki. Twenty kwanza chukizo. Twenty rejection. Twenty curses. And after that, you'll be walking in and out. If we are going to win this war, then what must we do? How do we hand over our battles to the sovereign God? Not because I know angels, but God told me, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We are destroyed. We don't engage angels in our prayers as a church. We don't engage angels as a church. The men that used to engage angels in their prayers, in their work, most of them, they are those generals who are long gone. But we our generation, we don't. If Vita is a malaika, Ninzito, if you came there to hear, thou shall be, thou shall be. Hear me. These are deep secrets if you're going to make it in life. We must engage the ministry of angels. We must engage number one. If we are going to hand over our battles for God to fight for us, the fights of God and for God to fight for us, then we must engage angels. Angels, 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 angels. The president of Kenya has the sacred service to guard and protect him. But you and I have both angels, both sacred agents, to fight and to protect us in all our ways. They can control the powers of nature in the universe. They do. Look at the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, 13 and 14. Malaika or Remy Pili. Angel, give me that diagram again. At least for, for us to understand tonight. When we are praying, we must agree to be one with the angels and angels of God. Because, angels of death. What happened? How many of these satanic dreams? When you try to call your mother, Mommy, Daddy, I'm a Jesus, I'm talking. How many know? You try to lift up your hand. You go up, away. What is your I think one minute. Happened of Those are battles that you cannot fight for yourself. Only God can fight for you. And you need to engage angels. We need to engage. My people are this. They don't know what is on their disposal. They don't know. Hebrews chapter 1, 13 to 14. Hebrews chapter 1, 13 to 14. And God never said to any of the angels, sit in the place of honor at my right hand until I humble your enemies, making them a footstool under your feet. Verse 14. Therefore, angels are. Angels are only servants. Somebody say amen. amen. Angels are only servants. Spirits sent to care for people who will inherit salvation. Amen. We are born again. Angels are there to minister to us. And they cannot minister to you until you talk to them. Until you engage them. Talk to God. God, I pray today as I go, send your angels my way to guide me to walk with me, to protect me, not only protect me, but to fight for me. I've done deliverance. Sometimes I do deliverance. Now, we work at Bisa, we make a Jesus Christ. That is happening. We make a motto. And even the neighbors are saying, Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, 
Oh, the demons themselves are calling Jesus. Don't be cheated. That demons don't call Jesus. They do. They do. Some of them are even blind. But when you call angels, all ye angels of God, that do minister deliverance, manifest yourself. Whip the demons in this body. And the next thing, that person will start screaming. The demons in the person will start screaming. And the easy victory you are given. Therefore, angels are what? Are only servants. Spirits sent to care for people who will inherit salvation. They are there to care for you. The same way they cared for Daniel is the same way they ought to care for you. Amen. Therefore, angels are only servants. They are servants. In your business, they are servants. Today, bring in clients. They can move clients in your favor. As GTM, we need to engage angels, even for harvest and for evangelism. We need to engage. Matthew 26, 52, 52 53. Angels are ministering spirit, ordained to minister to the believers. We don't engage them. When in prayer, it's all my authority. But many a times, do you even call upon God, God, send your angels? Imagine the prayers of Daniel. I was looking to myself, come on, Daniel. I know about 21 good days. An angel was sent to him. We stood by the prince of Persia. I did one. No one will come after you. 40 days. Apparently. If there's a year that is so pregnant for me, 2022 is pregnant for me. So pregnant. But you know what I'm talking about? Mama, you're naked. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Even in the spiritual pastor John, they do respect age. In the spirit. That's why they call him Father Abraham. They don't call him Father Abraham. No, no. They respect him. So, now put up, now to abound the command, they become princes of a certain region. To show, show. To walk, to make a leader. Put away your sword. Jesus told him, Peter. Those who use the sword, we die by the sword. Meanwhile, put away the physical weapons. Put them away. Because whosoever uses physical weapons, they will kill him. Physical weapons. Watch a move. Watch a kifua. Put away your sword. Jesus told him, those who use the sword will die by the sword. Verse, verse 53. Don't you realize that? I could ask my father. Meanwhile, you can ask for angels. Amen. Praise Jesus. I could ask my father for thousands of angels to protect us and he would send them instantly. Meanwhile, I must die on the cross. I must fulfill the scriptures. But for me and you, God Almighty, send me your angels Amen. to protect me and my children go to school. Mighty God, I send you angels. Angels are here. And angels are the ones who fight in the second realm. It's angels. Who is in here? Abu? How is we here? Where is angels in here? God. Unakuta wengine wetu, kuna watu wameapa mile ya kutu wafwa. Kina Sara. They were never to get children. It's angels. Kina Manoa. The angels. Kina Elizabeth, the angels. Maybe it was angels. They came to minister to them in old age and they received their children. Father fought this battle as human. I fought this battle. Mighty God in the realms of the physical. Now I pray, send me my angels because they're there for you. They're there for you. Just because I said, what? If I want, Ningetisha Malaika, Ningetumiwa. Kuna vita ambazi me pigana kama pastor ni mechoka. That's why I reached to this point. God, what next? And he told me now, hand over your battles to your angels. Let them fight for you. And they know no mercy. They know no mercy. Angels take over. Because to me, we have done things. We have become.
sending witches in charge because we don't know the realms of these battles. And the angel of death appeared. Only one. 70,000 people died. One. <laughs> there is no angel that will come your way with no assignment. With, please, how you go, They don't come for foolishness. Angels, angels are not there for stupidity. Praise the Lord. Amen. They come with an assignment. They do. They do. And some of them they come as human beings. For a season. Malika. Malika Wako. 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 And it's not a must for them to come in white suits. Please don't be fooled. Sometimes they can come as clients. They are ever there. When you almost dry, occupy the two. You see. You see. They have to sustain you. Sustain you. Some of us we have welcomed angels. And we never knew. We never knew. We never knew. We are coming here. Yes, I feel. Yes, I feel. Second Kings, chapter 6. When you are praying, God are covered by a chair. Even when you are doing exams, speak to me. They speak. They speak. We think about it because of the Lord Almighty. Unagalea the Lord is doing no good. Apa ni mungu sasa shule. Holy Ghost, send your angels now to remind me what I read. Because I'm getting nothing. And he reminds you. He reminds you. When the servant of the man of God got up early the next morning and went out, said, "There were troops, horses, and chariots everywhere." Oh, sir, what will we do now? The young man cried to Elisha. Sister, don't be afraid, Elisha told him, for there are more on our side than on theirs. Was it Sidiq? Then Elisha prayed, "Oh Lord, open his eyes." And let him see. The Lord opened the young man's eyes. And when he looked up, he saw that the hillside around Elisha, around Elisha, with horses and chariots of fire. 18. As the Arabian army advanced toward him, Elisha prayed, Oh Lord, please make them blind. So the Lord struck them with blindness as Elisha does. Praise the Lord. This man was protected by angels. And they pray from tonight. May the angels of God attend to you. Amen. May the angels of God attend to you. Amen. Attend to your children. Amen. Attend to your business. Amen. Attend to your car. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number two. If we are going to hand over our battles for God to fight for us, please get this right. I know you have had it and have had it again and again. We have to engage the weapon of praise. The weapon of praise. Praise God with understanding. I know the power of praise. I know the power of praise. You can dance your house. You can dance into your breakthrough. You can dance into your marriage. You can dance into your wedding. Please stop these things. I can really dance it. Engaging the weapon of praise. A time comes. You forget your title. You forget your name. You forget all that you are. Bishop Peter will always say this. There is no uncle to God. There is no auntie to God. I've seen this man of God. I get to a coffee. I a will never be raised. But those who are full of themselves can never praise God. Can never praise God. Praise God with understanding. Psalms 47. Psalms 47. Come, everyone. Say amen. Clap your hands. Shout to God with joyful praise. Verse 2. For the Lord Most High is awesome. He is the great king of all the earth. He subdues the nations before us. Putting our enemies beneath our feet. When you praise God, He takes over your battle. There's a place of prayer. You can pray a miss, but you can never praise a miss. 
when you, when you praise God, He subdues automatically. He subdues your enemies. Verse all it. He chose the promised land as our inheritance. He chose for us. The proud possessions of Jacob's descendants, whom he last entered. Verse 5. God has ascended with a mighty shout. The Lord has ascended with trumpets blaring. Verse 6. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our king. Sing praises. Verse 7. For God is the king over all the earth. Praise him with sound. Praise him. Praise him. And praise him with understanding. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. Amen. Look at Exodus chapter 15. I don't know what you are going through. Today, forget about it. If any of you are sick today, you can praise God. If any of you don't understand what they are saying, what the praise worship team are saying. Amen. Why come and I call him a dear Lord? Mungwa kuna wano me kamba wewe. Hata una jua. In this matter, Nilipi ya mwana uwezi. Nilipi. Nikanza uwezi ni wangu. Nikulipa kanita shamba ya uwezi. Ni wabinoni ya uwezi. Nilipi ya mwana uwezi. Kwa sauti ya kutu. Kwa sauti ya kutu. Hata wabinoni ya chipuka. Kwa sauti ya kutu. Nilipi ya mwana uwezi. Kwa mba mwaka wa 2022. Harusia mitafanyika. Unaweza. Unaweza. You praise God until you see your breath. Praise is a vehicle. You praise is a vehicle that will cause you to go through the second heaven. Praise. Praise carries you through the second heavens. Look at Moses. You call him a stammerer. Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song. If stammerers can sing, because you believe he's a stammerer. Eh? For Moses is not a sabra. Praise the Lord. Then Moses, the people of Israel, sang this song to the Lord. And we sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. He has hurled both horse and the rider into the sea. Verse 2. The Lord is my strength. <laughs> The Lord is and my soul. He has given me victory. This is my God. I will praise him. My father's God and I will exalt him. Verse 3. The Lord is a warrior. Yahweh is his name. Give me the KJV version. KJV. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. When you praise him, he takes over. Amen. Praise Jesus. And lastly, in the book of Revelation chapter 12, we must engage the weapon of the blood. Kama kuna kitu kanisa na loli mesahawo. Edamu ya mwana kondo. Edamu ya mwana kondo. Kwa biyashara yako, itisha edamu ya mwana kondo. Edamu ya Yesu Christo. The blood of Jesus. Every day, every time. Lord, cover me. Protect me. Arrows are there. Arrows are there. And the blood will fight for you. Battles that are totally beyond you. Battles that you cannot win in the physical. These people are doing their things. They are doing their things. You need to engage the weapon of the blood of the Lamb. Or the blood of Jesus Christ. Exodus chapter 12, 21 to 25. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take you a lamb according to your families, and kill the Passover. Verse 22. And you shall take a bundle of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and strike the lintel and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out at the door of this house, of his house, until the morning. Verse 23. 
For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians, Anapita. And when he sees the blood upon the window and on the, on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in into your houses to smite you. He will not permit the spirit of death to come and kill you. Meaning what? When he sees the blood, the evil will pass over. Meaning what? Your house can be covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. And your neighbors are not covered. And what, they, what befalls them will not befall you. Praise Jesus. Verse 24. 24. And you shall observe this thing for an ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. So it was not to be stopped in Exodus. For those who believe in Old Testament and don't believe in New Testament, or believe in New Testament and don't believe in the Old Testament. And you shall observe this thing for an ordinance to thee and to thyself forever. Verse 25. And it shall come to pass when you become to the land which the Lord will give you, according as he has promised thee, promised that you shall keep this service. We are keeping this service as a church. Praise the Lord. It is in the Bible, the blood of sprinkling. Hebrews chapter 12, 24, 25. Kwa Christo, ukingia kwa kazini yako tu. Chukua tu maji ya kawaida tu. Bless it. This is no longer ordinary water. I bless my business. I shall not suffer any attack. And anybody who will come into this business, into my house, with any satanic demonic agenda, mighty God, may your blood speak on my behalf. The blood. Christians, so we are now sprinkling your children the blood of Jesus Christ. Take holy communion. Ben he is a one of his secretary date every morning. Holy communion. And that man, since I knew him, the cure was totally new. The man has never changed. The being I knew is the being I know today. The blood of Jesus. Kuna to people. Listen to me. Don't take the blood of Jesus Christ just for condemnation. The blood of Jesus Christ is not there to condemn you. It's there also to punch you and to set you free. The blood of Jesus Christ. Today, the church, that old school. Could I kiss you? Come it's it's called what? Human words. You move your name, Jesus Christ, you stack you up. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You must stack you up. You must stack you up. Na nini, na los, na lo. Kwamba that torture, na konyeshana kwa watoto. The passion of Christ, yes. The passion of Christ. Kwamba kila ambato alipitia, siyo haki konyeshana. Siyo haki. Ati kwamba ni mateso. Na aliteso sana. Na inateso pia kwa na wangalia pia. I bet I remain in the old school. Because that blood, till now it still speaks. That blood speaks. That blood protects. And, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh better things than that of heaven. Listen to me. How can you have been an end? Now, we have in a year for vengeance. We know we need to hand over our battles to God. What on Uliwa go? Mashaba what on Aishi? What on Uliwa? God, let your blood speak for me. Let your blood speak for my business. Yes, what if you The blood of Jesus Christ speaking better things than that of you. Sprinkle your children. I disconnect you from the evil blood flow. Hakuna mteule that we are going to be I hear torture. That will be a torture for Kiaki. And that will be a torture for Kiaki. That will be a torture for Kiaki. That will be a torture for Kiaki. Kila mteule hakuna liya torture. And that will be a torture for Kiaki. Yesu Christo. That will be a torture. For God to take over your battles, you must engage the blood of the Lamb. Shall you be a torture? Jesus Christ. Pat, I'm going to name the Jesus Christ of your Jesus Christ.
presença da hora. Dia mais cheia, pô. Lift up your voice as you call upon the living God. And plead the blood of Christ over your life. 